Okay, I've been working on Sal's trucks for a couple of weeks now, and a couple of you wise guys out there have dared me to fix the dent on the door. So today, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna take this guy off and show you the anatomy of a dent repair. I can't guarantee that this is gonna work, but stay tuned, we're gonna find out. Now I want to try to save the patina, the old paint on this door if I can. And if I use one of the stud guns that welds on kind of a nail and then you pull it out, I'll get a ton of little nipples everywhere. So what we're going to try to do is use our porter power here and we're going to take some boards and we're going to put them on the inside of the door. Then we'll go ahead and we will jack this up. And we'll bring down our low spots and then any high spots we have, we'll gently try to bring those down. So let's see what kind of luck we got here. So I've got two boards on the bottom giving me nice support. So when I go ahead and jack that up, it won't take the bottom or the inside of my door and just push it down. We've got to have a really nice stable platform to be able to jack up. I've got another board on top of my uh, porter power in there. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. So when you, you look at things like this, like this, um, you might think to yourself, well, I'm going to um, just hammer in the, the hard section right here. But you really kind of don't want to do that. Right here, it's dented down really hard. It's going to be really hard to bring that up in this one little section. But in the sections here, it's going to be easy to bring it up. So don't fight your dent. Take your sections that come out nice and easy first and and then work on the sections that are coming out harder. So we can see this is pumping up here and that's maybe working. Okay, so then I've got pressure down here and it's bringing everything up. Now areas that are up too high, I'm going to bring those down and I'm just going to use a rubber mallet. When I'm hammering, I'm not trying to nail. I just want to coax stuff, so it's a gentle hammering. Okay, now I'm going to take a look and I'll go ahead and reposition and I'll just keep doing that until it gently comes up. All right, so you can see that this is a uh, slow process. You don't want to just try to hammer this thing out in one fail swoop. It's going to take you some time. So I'm going to work this for about 30 or 40 minutes, whatever it takes me, and then I'll show you the results when I get done.
I got my lower half here pretty good. I'll probably spend a little bit more time and torture myself a little bit more just to get it more and more perfect. But I've got about 45 minutes or an hour in just to this lower portion right here. So you can see it does take some time. Next, I'll work on this. Now this is gonna be a little bit tougher. When your metal is large and open and flat like this, it's really easy to work with. But every time you put a bend in it, it makes it stronger. And this kind of combination bend here is gonna make this a lot tougher to come out. I'm gonna go ahead and get something like this so that I can use it to hit the peak right here. And then I'll go ahead and hammer in my high sides right here. So let's see what kind of luck I got with this guy. I've got a reasonable amount of time in this. And when I started this, I didn't exactly know how I was gonna take the dent out. I knew the basic generals of what I was gonna do, but I had to do a lot of experimenting along the way. I get different sizes of pieces of wood. I position things around a lot. Um, when I got into this piece right here, I used this, but the wood just kept crushing down, so I found some uh, angle iron here and just put it on top, and then I was able to get the jack underneath there and jack that on up, and then hammer my high spots down, and you can see it's come along pretty nice. I'll probably spend some more time on this just because I like to go crazy on this kind of stuff, um, but we're basically done, and you can see that it is doable. That was a big bad dent on there, but it is doable. Uh, I'm actually going to get a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and bolt it onto the truck. We're going to check our lines right here. You can see this is kind of tucking in too far right in here. And uh, then I'll take this back off and I'll work it a little bit more, but I'm not going to bore you with all of that. Let's say, for instance, though, your door is just not repairable. You got rust at the bottom and you got a bunch of dents and stuff like that, too. That's not a big deal necessarily because we've got door skins that will cover the entire door, basically. So that'll take care of all of your lines and you'll just be able to weld it right up at the top there. Also, when you're doing something like this, be sure like I always say, get all your peripherals. You got door latches that go bad, window regulators, the wheels always go bad on these, the teeth always get chewed up, teeth get chewed up on your door regulators, your bolts to put everything back together, your rubber, and this right here, this is a door check. This door is dented because this piece went bad. The devil's in the details and sometimes small parts like this are going to cost you a lot of damage. So you be sure you check out every single little piece that you got in your door before you get start busting in on it and you've got everything you're going to be able to take care of everything at the same time. Now you be sure and check us out on Facebook and Instagram and when you're on YouTube subscribe, ring bells, comments and all that kind of stuff. You know what to do because next week I'm going to be doing another video and if you don't watch it